What's up, everybody? This is Tech G back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to be explaining to you exactly what a cloud administrator is in case you are interested in pursuing this as a career. So let's get into it. All right. So in this video, I'm going to be explaining what a cloud admin is, how much money they make, what they do, their importance and how to become a cloud admin. So let's proceed. A cloud administrator. This is an IT professional responsible for managing a company's cloud computing environment. This includes configuring and maintaining cloud infrastructure, ensuring its security, and optimizing cloud resources for performance and cost efficiency. Essentially, cloud administrators are tasked with keeping cloud systems running smoothly and securely while meeting the organization's needs. Also, cloud admins, they typically work with a variety of cloud services and platforms such as Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud Platform, and others. And they are responsible for not just setting up and managing these cloud platforms, but also for supporting the users, maintaining the systems, and ensuring that the cloud environment aligns with the organization's policies and goals. All right, so let's talk about how much money a cloud admin makes. So the average annual salary for a cloud administrator in the U.S., this varies according to different sources. So if you go to salary.com, they report an average annual salary of $130,000 per year with a typical range between $118,000 and $144,000. If you go to the Economic Research Institute, they indicate an average salary of about $110,000 per year with a range of about seventy six to one hundred and thirty four thousand dollars. If you go to ZipRecruiter, they list an average annual salary of $111,000 with most salaries ranging from $90,000 to $130,000. And also, if you go to Glassdoor, they estimate the total pay for a cloud admin to be about $114,000 per year with an average base salary of $99,000. Now, these variations, they can be attributed to factors such as experience, location, industry, and the specific responsibilities associated associated with the role. All right, so let's talk about the roles and responsibilities of a cloud administrator. So cloud admins, they hold a range of responsibilities in managing and supporting the cloud infrastructure of an organization. And these duties, they may vary depending on the organization's cloud environment, but they generally include the following. So the first is that of cloud infrastructure management. So cloud admins, they are responsible for deploying, configuring, and managing cloud infrastructure components, such as virtual machines, storage resources, and networking services. And they monitor and maintain the availability of cloud resources to ensure that all systems and applications hosted in the cloud perform optimally. They also do some security and compliance. So security, this is a significant responsibility for cloud admins. They are tasked with implementing and managing security measures such as identity and access management, firewalls, encryption, and network segmentation. Also, they ensure compliance with regulatory standards such as GDPR, HIPAA and PCI DSS, which is a critical part of their role. And this includes establishing policies and procedures for data protection, user access and risk management. Then there's resource optimization and cost management. So a cloud admin, they monitor resource usage to prevent unnecessary costs and ensure that the organization is utilizing the cloud efficiently. And this includes scaling resources up or down as needed, managing cost alerts and suggesting ways to optimize cloud spending. And they may also conduct capacity planning to forecast future resource needs based on current and projected usage. Then there's backup recovery and disaster planning. So ensuring data availability and disaster recovery, these are key responsibilities of cloud admins. And this includes setting up backup and restore mechanisms, defining recovery point objectives and recovery time objectives and developing disaster recovery plans. Also administrators, they must regularly test these recovery processes to ensure data can be restored quickly and effectively in the event of a failure. Then there's performance monitoring and troubleshooting. So cloud admins, they continually monitor the performance of cloud systems, applications, and services, and they use performance monitoring tools and metrics to detect any issue that may affect availability, performance, or security. And when problems do arise, cloud admins, they must troubleshoot and resolve these issues, whether they involve network latency, resource contention, or system errors. 
And then there's user support and management. So cloud admins, they provide support to users who access cloud resources, assisting them with issues such as access permissions, system performance, and technical difficulties. And they also manage user accounts, permissions, and roles within the cloud environment, ensuring that users have the appropriate access levels for their job functions. Then there's also automation and scripting. So automation, this is an essential part of a cloud admin's role. They develop and deploy scripts to automate routine tasks, such as resource provisioning, patching, and monitoring. And cloud admins, they often use infrastructure as code tools like Terraform, Ansible, or AWS CloudFormation to automate the deployment and management of cloud resources. And then there's maintaining cloud documentation. So documentation is critical for effective cloud management and cloud admins, they are are responsible for maintaining up-to-date documentation on cloud configurations, policies, procedures, and architecture diagrams, and also proper documentation. This helps ensure that cloud environments are manageable, auditable, and understandable by other team members. All right, so moving on, let's talk about some key skills and competencies for a cloud administrator. So to be effective in their role, cloud admins, they need a combination of technical, analytical, and problem-solving skills. And here are some of the key competencies and skills necessary for a cloud admin. So the first is that of technical skills and knowledge. So they need to have in-depth knowledge of one or more cloud platforms. And this includes understanding cloud services such as compute, storage, and networking, along with database services. Then there's networking fundamentals. So cloud admins, they need to be familiar with networking concepts such as IP addressing, DNS, VPNs, firewalls, load balancing, and network security groups. And then there's operating systems and virtualization. So they need some experience with operating systems like Linux and Windows and virtualization technologies like VMware and Hyper-V because this is necessary for managing virtual machines and other virtual resources. Another key skill is that of security and compliance. So knowledge of cybersecurity principles, including encryption, identity management, and security policies. These are critical for safeguarding cloud resources and cloud admins. They should be familiar with regulatory standards and best practices for data protection and compliance, such as GDPR, HIPAA, or NIST guidelines. They should know some automation and scripting. So they need proficiency in scripting languages like Python, PowerShell, or Bash, because this is important for automating cloud operations and writing scripts for infrastructure as code tools. They need to have an understanding of configuration management and automation tools like Terraform, Ansible, Puppet, or Chef, because this can help streamline cloud infrastructure management. Then there's analytical and problem solving skills. So cloud admins, they must possess strong analytical skills to identify, diagnose, and resolve resolve performance and security issues in a timely manner. And problem solving skills, these are essential for tackling unexpected challenges and ensuring the smooth operation of cloud environments. Then there's communication and collaboration. So cloud admins, they work closely with developers, security teams, and other IT professionals. So strong communication and collaboration skills are essential for sharing information, resolving issues, and ensuring that cloud operations align with organizational goals. They may also need to interact with non-technical stakeholders where they translate technical concepts into business terms for decision-making. Then there's attention to detail and documentation. So they need to have a keen eye for detail because this is necessary for monitoring cloud performance, security settings, and cost management and effective documentation practices. This ensures that cloud configurations, processes, and policies are well documented and accessible for team members. All right, so moving on, let's talk about some tools and technologies that are used by cloud administrators. So cloud admins, they use a variety of tools and technologies to manage and maintain cloud environments. And some of the commonly used tools include the following. So you have cloud provider consoles and CLIs or command line interfaces. So each cloud provider offers a management console, such as AWS Management Console, Azure Portal, and GCP Console. And they have command line interface tools for administering these cloud resources. And then there's monitoring and logging tools. So cloud admins, they rely on monitoring tools like AWS CloudWatch, Azure Monitor, and GCP Stack Driver to keep track of performance metrics, system health, and logs. And additional monitoring tools such as Prometheus, Grafana, and Datadog, they can provide deeper insights and customizable dashboards for cloud performance and security. 
Next, there's automation and infrastructure as code tools. So tools like Terraform, CloudFormation, Ansible, and Puppet. They enable cloud admins to automate the deployment, management, and scaling of cloud resources. And automation scripts, they can be used for routine tasks such as backup, scaling, and infrastructure provisioning. Then we have security and assessment management tools. So identity and access management tools such as AWS IAM, Azure Active Directory, and GCP IAM, they are used to manage user access roles and permissions and security scanning and compliance tools. They help cloud admins maintain data protection standards and detect potential security risks. And then we have cost management and billing tools. So cloud cost management tools like AWS Cost Explorer, Azure Cost Management, and GCP Cost Management, they help admins track and optimize cloud spending. And third-party cost management tools like Cloud Health and Cloud Checker, they provide additional cost analysis and reporting features. All right, so let's talk about the growing importance of cloud administrators. So the role of cloud admins has become increasingly important as organizations migrate more of their infrastructure applications and data to the cloud. And cloud computing, this offers numerous benefits, including scalability, flexibility, and cost savings. However, these advantages come with the need for proper management and governance to ensure optimal performance, security, and cost efficiency. And as organizations embrace multi-cloud and hybrid cloud strategies, cloud administrators are responsible for managing multiple cloud environments and ensuring that they work seamlessly together. And they play a key role in supporting DevOps and cloud native practices, helping organizations adopt modern development and deployment approaches. So the demand for skilled cloud administrators is on the rise as businesses require professionals who can help them navigate the complexities of cloud technologies, security, and best practices. All right, so let's talk about how to become a cloud administrator. So for those of you out there aspiring to become a cloud administrator, here are some steps that you got to take. So first, you want to build a strong IT foundation. So you want to gain a solid understanding of networking, operating systems, security principles, and virtualization technologies. And having a background in system administration or network administration, this can be beneficial. You want to get some cloud certifications in your life. So you want to earn some cloud certifications because this is a great way to demonstrate your expertise and some popular certifications include AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate, the Microsoft Certified Azure Administrator Associate, or the Google Cloud Certified Associate Cloud Engineer. You also want to learn some cloud platform skills. So you want to gain hands-on experience with cloud platforms like AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud Platform. And many cloud providers, they do offer free tiers and training programs to help learners get started. You want to develop some scripting and automation skills. So you want to learn scripting languages like Python, Bash, or PowerShell, and get familiar with infrastructure as code tools like Terraform and Ansible for automating cloud operations. And you also want to stay updated on cloud trends and security. So cloud technologies and best practices evolve rapidly. So you want to stay informed about the latest developments in cloud computing, security, and emerging trends in the industry. All right, so let's talk about the timeline to become a cloud administrator. So becoming a cloud administrator, this typically takes one to three years, depending on prior experience and the learning path that you choose. So here's a general breakdown. So we have entry level, and this could take you about six months to one year. So if you have basic IT knowledge, gaining cloud skills through certifications like AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner, Microsoft Azure Fundamentals, or Google Associate Cloud Engineer, this could take a few months and hands-on practice with cloud platforms is essential. If you're starting off on the intermediate level, this could take you about one to two years. So if you're coming from an IT support, networking, or system administration background, transitioning into a cloud admin role by obtaining AWS SIOPS Administrator Associate, Microsoft Certified Azure Administrator Associate, or the Google Cloud Associate Engineer, this can take you about a year to complete. Now, if you're trying to start off at the advanced role, this can take you about two to three years. So for those of you that are new to IT, it may take longer to build foundational skills in networking, Linux, scripting, and security before diving into cloud administration. But essentially, here's the fastest route. So if you have IT experience, and you dedicate time to getting some certifications, hands-on labs, and you have some real-world projects, you can become a cloud administrator in about six to 12 months. So with all of that being said, a cloud administrator, 
They play a critical role in managing, maintaining, and securing an organization's cloud environment. They bridge the gap between cloud infrastructure and business operations, ensuring that cloud resources are optimized for performance, cost efficiency, and security. And with the growing reliance on cloud computing across industries, cloud administrators are essential professionals in the IT landscape. So for those of you that are interested in a career in cloud administration, developing technical skills, gaining cloud platform experience, and earning relevant certification certifications, this can pave the way for a rewarding career in this rapidly evolving field. So whether managing a single cloud platform or navigating the complexities of multi-cloud environments, cloud administrators, they are vital to the success of modern organizations leveraging cloud technology.